Muslims, like most Christians, do not actually believe what's in the books, okay? If they actually read the books and they were literalist, they would be insane, and some of them are. Some Muslims are, some Christians are. Then you can have a debate about who's worse, that's lovely, etc. But most Muslims, overwhelming majority of Muslims, like the overwhelming majority of Christians, do not believe literally what's in the books. Can we have this camera focusing on all the audience? Because every now and then, every time we have a conference, every time we invite a speaker, they always can come with the same accusations. This speaker supports death penalty for homosexuals. This speaker supports death penalty for this crime or this crime or that he is homophobic. He, they subjugate women, etc., etc., etc. It's the same old stuff coming all the time. And we always try to tell them, I always try to tell them that, look, it's not that speaker that we're inviting who has these extreme radical views, as you say. These are general views that every Muslim actually has. Every Muslim believes in these things. Just because they're not telling you about it, or just because they're not out there in the media doesn't mean they don't believe in them. So I will ask you, everyone in the room, how many of you are normal Muslims, you're not extremist, you're not radical, this is normal Sunni Muslims. Please raise your hands. Everybody, mashaAllah, subhanAllah. Okay, take down your hands again. How many of you agree that men... Everybody, mashaAllah, subhanAllah. Okay, take down your hands again. How many of you agree that men and women should sit separate. Please raise your hands. Sisters in particular. Everyone agree. Everyone agree. Brothers and sisters. SubhanAllah. So, so it's not just these radical sheikhs then. Allahu Akbar. Next question. How many of you agree that the punishments described in the Quran and the Sunnah, whether it is death, whether it is stoning for adultery, whatever it is, if it is from Allah and His Messenger, that is the best punishment ever possible for humankind. And that is what we should apply in the world. Well, who, who agrees with that? Allahu Akbar, are you all the radical extremists? SubhanAllah. So all of you are saying that you are common Muslims, you all go to the different massages in Norway, or is it, are you like a specific sect, like the Islam net sect or anything like that? Are you like that? No? Is it, are you like that? Please raise, your, please raise your hand if you like this extreme Islam net sect or anything like that. No one. Allahu Akbar. How many of you just go to these normal mas massages in Norway, every, the normal Sunni mosques? Please raise your hands. Allahu Akbar. So what's, what's the politicians going to say now? What's the media going to say now? That we're all extremists? We're all radicals? We need to deport all of us from this country? SubhanAllah. Allahu Akbar. Takbir! 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 May we have the next question, please? Because in my opinion, Muslims like most Christians, do not actually believe what's in the books, okay? Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! That guy didn't raise his hand, he said, and he didn't raise his hand about going to a Sunni uh, mosque either. He must have been the odd guy out. Probably thinking, where, what in the hell am I doing in here? 